car is. So back out, uh, back up in the farm, Northumberland, ferrets, uh, hawks, wet, cold, miserable, Monday morning. See if the birds can uh, charm me mood up a little bit. Back out. Already. Oh no, a third set yeah, it's a slow start the day, mind. Third set there's been nothing bolted. The ferret's up and up and doing and up and doing, so we're just wondering if she's catch caught some it down the set. So anybody that doesn't know what he's doing, the ferrets have got little locators on them, little so we can find them under the hole. Just if they have a hole up, catch a rabbit under the cell, we can dig them out and get them back. So Scott's just waiting to find the little beep coming from them or a little knock on that box. Then we're going to adjust the settings to see how deep down it is. If a ferret's moving around, it doesn't stay in the same place. Obviously, the signal does not stay. Yeah, that was half a slip. Um, typical lake, just as uh, just as a rabbit come, somebody started bringing us. So I missed the missed the slip, but it wasn't it wasn't much uh, going on. The rabbit was out, snidey little bolt hole. Yeah. So like I was saying, um, I we thought the rabbit, we thought the. The ferret had hauled up and was on a rabbit, we still think it's on something there, but something, a little rabbit just jumped out of the side sort of thing. Um, it came across the field, what they do is they start to run for this field, this hill, sorry. And there's a load of sets just behind us in the bank. Um, so I'm going to stand at the bank and try and cut them off anything coming up because it gives you half a chance of getting them. But the rain's picked up and the wind's picked up a bit, which it always does when it's up here. We forecast for sunny, sunny weather and it always lashes doing. So, just kind of see what happens. Yeah, okay, look, so in this field here, we've got the sets right in the middle of the field down there, that them two are working, and that zooms in a bit. It's not zooming in yet, but I'm not focusing. But all the rabbits just keep diving up here. You can see all the sets all the way along this, this bank. So, what Tyson normally does is she'll take her cell off and sit up there and she cuts them off halfway like before they get in the bank so I'm going to give her a little try with that but it's littered with them but you can sort of see why if I can get in on them yeah the field in the middle is just littered with these big massive sets and that's what the farmer's worried about because he's got his horses on if they can down there and they break a leg then it's a good night sweetheart for them horses so it's probably best to get rid of the rabbits off the centre of that field it's a little bit of savage entertainment, this really. Um, got myself out for the Newcastle match last night, watch him put in a half a performance against Chelsea. And, well, it wasn't even a half a performance, it was terrible. So I'm feeling not as fresh as I normally do. So I would have liked an extra couple hours in bed, but I've had to come, we haven't had to come, but I've come along to stand in the cold, in the wet, in the rain, and for the majority of the morning, stare at holes in the ground. 
both. Gotta love it. So he's getting a bit of a signal off Scott there. He thinks there's something fucking around. He'd probably be, he has something. So we might get a little bit of action. The way we're gonna work at the day, um, you might have seen Scott down the bottom there, he's carrying a big uh, travel box on. He's gotta keep Dolly in there, he's got his Harris Dolly, he's gotta keep her in there to keep her nice and dry so Tyson will do the first half of the day and Dolly will do the second so when Tyson's soaked and wet and scruffy she that in the box and we'll get Dolly out so they're both we've, both, we've got two Harris Hawks again and they'll be in good condition for the for the day Wait, Scott's just pulled one out of the hole there looks like it didn't anyway I can't tell no nah. Hey, that's another set done. Um, now coming out, we've had two slips all morning. Um, but I think this is a good example of what I normally say to people. Like everyone's got this. Right, sorry, that was just Scott shout now. Ah, uh, everyone's got this like romantic idea. You train a bird of prey, you're gonna be like some knight of the realm. Then I think you're walking through a nice flowery meadow on a summer's day, without any weight management or. Any train, and a man in the hawk just flies off, catches rabbits and brings them back to your feet. It's not like that. This is the reality. This is what I keep telling people because I get it. It's a weekly thing where people will ring us up or they speak to us and bars and whatever. Aye. I got along that way. I got on the top. And uh, I tell us that they're going to buy hawks off Facebook. And they didn't. They just get, they do get them and they just sit them in the gardens. They didn't fly them. This is the reality of getting freezing cold work on your hawk this is what it's all about you didn't hunt you didn't fly them during the during the summer so it's not as glamorous as you think so when people are going kind of buying hawks you know, and i have plenty of lads that have done it they just keep them in the gardens you didn't fly them yeah it's not fair on the bird right i where was i yeah we're just trying a little two hole or three hole there just because we've seen a few rabbits bolt doing in the past so i'm just gonna give it a little can i'm ready scott um so I just while I'm up here and I'm waiting, the ferrets are down the hole, I was just a little rant because it's getting up to what, what we're new, March, um, birds will be breeding and you'll see a massive increase in Facebook sales and people buying them, the novelty wears off, um, just try not to, you know, like, I'm glad we don't have days like this and it's one of the reasons I want to do these videos so I can start to show people what it's like. It's not like um, you're some sort of knight of the realm and you're, you're on your horse and you're going through like meadows and stuff like that. It's not like that at all. It's days when it's freezing cold, scruffy, soaked and wet. Days when really you just want to be sitting in the house watching even a bit of loose women. Do you know what I mean? That sounds a better option than the day like. But aye, it is what it is. This is the sport and this is the, this is the reality of it. anything today this is why we're coming with forecast nice steady weather um i nearly didn't bring me coat i even sent to scott this morning i'm just gonna leave me coat but the great philosopher once said you can always take it off so uh, i'm glad i brought it up because it's a bit damp wait well, i'm assuming We've done a half a decent job for the farmer because uh what's that that's like five six sets now we've had one bolter and then scott's caught another one doing the hole so out of all these sets and the big sets as well like there's nothing coming out so we must have created a fair bit a little bit ropey but uh There's my perch. It's looking like the ferret 
it's on a rabbit sitting down the hole there sitting down the set so i think scott's gonna have a digger digger out and i think we might just sack this one off because there's no happening um i'll take the blame on because i called this field first so it's been a very very slow start today They're ready, John, just in case. Just in case out bolts. Hey, yo. Come. <laughs> Savage twat. <laughs> Back us. It's going to be fair, I'm sure. Right, sacked that field off, absolutely dead. One slipped out right at the end, but I had me back, I was whacked up the bank. So what that feels like, saying to Scott, uh, what that feels like, when you miss it and you've waited all that time, it's like when you're fishing and you fish, you've got the biggest fish gone and it gets off your hook. It was a nightmare, it's horrible. So try a different field. Um, come on. The weather's settling a little bit, so we're gonna see what these ones are like. Well, now there's there's a lot of rabbits in these ones up here. Right, I was a bit uh, bit confused about what what was going on with that rabbit earlier on when I say Scott had caught one. There's horses on the field, like I was saying, Scott's got his box and stopped Dolly getting soaked when while it's Tyson's turn. Um, and him and Jimmy's hour, and I couldn't figure out what they're doing. And then I seen Scott pick the rabbit out the hole. I thought the horses might have kicked the box or something like that, but what it was, Scott didn't realise he had put the put the box over like a bolt hole, and it heard some like uh, thumping, and there was a rabbit underneath. So the box has caught one, the ferret's caught one, birds have gotten out so far. But aye, that's what got Scott all them big scratches down his arm, the little twat. Put up a good fight when he's trying to pull it out. So he just let it go because he can't really catch that as a count, like. But at least his box is caught. I hope he's been getting his end away and he's not sexually frustrated. I'm gonna get on the wrong end of that. That's he's take a nut off that you're gonna know about this. The size of the horns on that thing. Right, we've got another two sets. We've done another two sets. Not a thing. So I'm starting to think that's the end of the season for her. Even Tasha just took herself off our next to river for a little, just to warm myself up, stretch our wings. There's not a thing bolting. Um, so, hi, that might be this form clear. I'd know when Carla the day on the season. We'll see though. Another couple of fields, I think, another, maybe another three fields again, and then see what happens. Just a little bit of flying in. That'll warm her up a bit. Warm me up and I'll get cramp in my legs.
big ball, eh? Right. So Jimmy's ferret, little killing machine, got the caught a cellar rabbit in the worst place ever. Underneath here drains a while. <laughs> <laughs> gotta feel that. <laughs> it's gotta be full of rabbit scratches, thorn scratches. You honestly kind of get the total glory here. It's nearly switched off. It's uh, it's got to be the worst possible place to get a dig lake, isn't it? Fucking, I'm not giving you the glory. <laughs> you gotta, I'll take it off if you want. Nah, you're not getting it. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> How far do you reckon you are? Not as far as me light up. There. Got to be four foot, easy. Four foot. Why? It's a nice sign of the rabbit, like. Is it not? Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, Never was catching rabbits so much fun. <laughs> Fuck it, <hell. laughs> There you go. Please. That one wound up. So that's, I think that's three. Ferret is three. Birds are getting the action. Like, there's no bolting. We're just catching them, doing the setting, having to dig. Takes us up the tree. Up there. Up the bush. Scott's got Dolly. The ferret is doing. You are lush. You must have worn wellies. They're not helping.
tree gun. Reese, yeah, we're calling that a day now. Wasn't the best day, end of the season, possibly the last one. So we got absolutely zero action for the bird's sake, nothing at all. Um, two half slips that you can't even call slips. Um, so it was our ferret action a day. Uh, ferrets have enjoyed it. But even then, there was not much going on. Um, nothing wanted to bolt. Had the world's worst dig under our lot. All that stuff over there, horrible. Um, but I still free in the bag, so we're not wanting to be empty-handed. Taste is just sitting up the tree there. Um, so I, thanks for watching, and uh, if you can, just give a little subscribe and a share. So I get her out of my tree. Taste, come on. Get her all filled up, get our dresses on, get back to the car and get dried off. Cheers.